Hey guys, Clyde here live from the Leechburg Lights Workshop. Uh, we're working on showing people how the uh, spirals work, the spinners that is, the spinners and also the wreath and some of the window features are working for me in uh, x lights Nutcracker using very simple models that I set up duplicates of in, uh, in the x lights program and using the Excel program. So uh, this is my YouTube page. This is I just posted this a couple days ago. There's already a, a, a number of hits on the on the page and I want to thank you all for watching the videos. It, it, it's really exciting to see you guys uh, you know within a couple days see you know a number of views 275 for me just in you know it's only been up for a couple you know what since July 4th it's the 8th and it's four days and I've got 275 views thanks a lot I, that really does mean a lot to me so uh, but what what I wanted to do today was I wanted to show you how this dual model works with Microsoft or with uh, with X lights the new the latest most of the latest version now on this computer I don't happen to have the the latest download that Sean uploaded last night um, but uh, I just wanted to go through this real quick because I had a question of how do I set up the spinners in X lights now you see over here in the sequencer tab I've got the uh, the uh, God bless the USA um, the sequence up and this is what it looks like I probably spent just to begin with I probably spent maybe five hours on this sequence total in a day and a half um, it's not the best sequence that I've ever done it, it probably won't be the best sequence I've ever done until I spend a little more time on it I am learning to use uh, the program though there's no uh, layered effects in this at all this is just basically click and drag and did it to do what I wanted it to do and learn how to use the program mode that I'm in before the holiday gets here so uh, with with that being said I wanted to go through and let's look at some of the models in the model layout screen um, you'll notice that pretty much on this screen the only thing that shows up here is the the window frames the roof line the pixels uh, on the on the tree and the spinners now the spinners actually um, I wanted them down here but I ended up putting them up where I normally put them so I guess I could move them there and I can save it so uh, the the spinner on the left is the uh, 12 millimeter 96 pixel RGB spinner and then on the one on the right here this is the GECE pixel spinner with 64 pixels and of course this wreath it's the 63 pixel wreath that I uh, made using the GECEs on the window frames I have the standard GECEs there's 24 on each frame except for this one I think I have a total of 16 on this one so um, I'm not gonna go over how I hook them up and and set it up but what I do want to go over is the models that I've created for them so versus the model screen uh, and the preview screen you can notice that I've got more than just um, one set of models the models that are displayed are only the models I want to view um, so if I look at the GECE windows that's this model right here let's um, let's modify it and have a look at it this these windows are set up just like this in in uh, in the setup screen and what I did was you can see all of them there but if I zoom in you can see that I have them all numbered sequentially so this tells the setup page or the setup tab right here what start channel every single one of these are and it goes through and it does all the work for me to tell me how to turn these pixels on and what channel is what but um, but as far as a custom guide goes this I started this with channel 190 that's all you really have to remember once I put the model and the information and where the pixel location was and I'll pop back over here to Microsoft Excel for a second uh, this is the spinner I had two spinners the GECE was much smaller because it had only 64 pixels versus 96 for the uh, 13 millimeter but we go over to let's say the um, this is the GE window frames and I started down on the bottom left went up over down and to the left that was uh, that's that's every window is built identical except for this one because it's smaller and like I said they all are set up exactly the same so it's very simple for me to go in copy and paste right click and put this um, right into right into this here if I'm if I'm ready to do so at this point but I'm I'm not gonna go do that so but once I know my start channel um, 
I, I click OK. I'm going to cancel out of that. Now what I did was I created a second model. See how this says window number 1, says window number 10A and 10B. This is 10A and 10B. This is window number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I didn't do the door frame. I just didn't have time. I ran out of time. And then this is window number 9A and window 9B. So that, that keeps it all kind of straight in my in my head how I have it set up. But all I did was, and you notice I called it a line. If I open this up and modify it, I set this model up not as a window frame, I set it up as a single line. And how that works is, um, since I already have the model set up like this in the whole model, I wanted to set it up so that I could do a different kind of chase over an individual line all the way around the window. See, if I overlay bars on my window frames, then what happens is, let me go over to the Sequencer tab. If I just uh, go to the GECE windows here, let's say I overlay bars onto it uh, in a place where they're not on. Let's see. Um, right here. You can see the model preview comes up. And bars goes across the entire set of windows. Now, what happens whenever I put bars or spirals individually on each window frame. If I go over here and I look at the model preview, it looks like a tree, or I'm sorry, it looks like a uh, individual string, but that creates this different effect over top of the entire uh, window frame. Okay, it's not doing what I want it to do. <laughs> Making me look bad. Let's, uh, let me let me click on that. Let's see if that worked. There we go. You see how it's chasing? It's making that spiral effect the whole way around the window frame because I've got spiral going right there on it. Phew, that made me almost look silly. Um, so, so using two different models, coming back here to the layout tab, using this model for GEC windows or going in here and creating these extra models allows me to create two different effects on the same element. And all I can say is, is that uh, for the pixel uh, spinners, I have those, the same thing as well. I have one for the GECE that I've hand drawn using the Excel file and I just copy and pasted that. I set the parameters, the number of model width and height, and I made sure it was a custom model, and I set it as RGB nodes, and I set my star channel. Once that was done, I clicked, uh, I, I went over here and I entered my numbers, and I clicked OK. But I also created this second one using the exact same star channel, and I called it a flat tree. I could also make it a 360 tree. But you'll notice how there is no tree in my display anywhere showing here. That's because I did not add this to be part of my display. If I did and click OK here, boom, there's a tree. It just kind of shows up and, uh, and now I have a tree. Well, I don't want that to show up. So if I, if I go back into models and I go into my GECE tree, I want to go into modify and I want to remove it from being part of my display click OK and there it's gone. So whenever you have a tree you can physically make it do things with bars like going from the center outwards to create those explosive type looks whenever you're doing like a firework. Um, so for instance uh, I know I have it right around here somewhere right there you can see the, the little spinners going you know kaboom kaboom. Um, uh, where's that at? Uh, right here we have spiral set up and if I make this bigger you can see how it overlays on there versus uh, versus being a spiral and spiraling out from the center which is what would happen if I had moved it up into the actual um, if I actually put it up into the upper part here. So this little this little node here, let me zoom in because it's hard for you to see there. That bars makes it look like it's exploding and I have I have three colors selected. I could only I could make it one and black and it would explode there just like that. So you can see it exploding. There's the tree form of it right there. But um, you know hey it, it 
works the way I want it to work because I'm using two different models. So that's I hope this is a helpful video for whenever you guys are uh, wondering how to set up uh, a model in X lights and what you can do with it. Um, because it doesn't take it's not that you need to have every model that is listed here showing here on your screen I set up a very simple light display with the front of the house and I didn't have all a whole lot of, of uh, different pixel elements but because I created extra windows I created the extra spinner models I also created the extra wreath model the flat wreath which is like a matrix if I click on it you can see Here's the here's the model preview for the matrix on uh, it, it does that a little expand thing there and then it's solid blue and then solid blue and then it adds the sparkles into it so that's one effect with the flat wreath if I scan over here a little bit more there's this effect with the bars that now it goes left to right because it's on this part of the display I wanted it to have a different effect instead of being spiral where it's uh, going left to right but whenever you bring it up here and you look at it it looks like it's spinning so uh, like I said lots of options that you can you can do and play with in Nutcracker that uh, if you create a second model that's built a sec a different way and you create it so that that uh, your matrix is, matrix is similar or your tree form is similar to the spinner that you can do a lot of cool things so I hope this helps guys uh, I didn't want to be so long-winded but I did want to be pretty specific so that you could go in and you could create these little these cool things to add into your own display if you're adding the spinners this year um, look at the video I mean they were the simplest project in the world for me to ever do um, I, I, I know that um, fr uh, I think Francis has created a new spinner using uh, square PVC trim molding uh, I thought that was an amazing idea so a shout out to you there Francis and uh, guys if you have any other questions please ask because I don't mind doing videos like this to show you you know how I get this stuff to work in the display so hey thanks a lot take care and uh, keep up keep up the great questions guys have a good one